Will Google my business kill SEO? Will Google my business kill SEO? That's right. Today we're going to be talking about will Google my business kill SEO? Hey guys, if you're just tuning in, we're going to be talking about, will Google My Business kill SEO today? So just stay tuned. That's what we're going to be discussing today. And you don't want to miss it, baby. All right, bear with me. If you hear anything in the background, that's because we're building our office outside and the guys are here working on it today. But I have a ton of videos and walkthroughs that people are asking for. So we got to get those done. So today we're going to be talking about Google My Business Killing SEO. Google My Business Killing SEO. All right, let's go to the questions for this week. If you want an audit or if you have a question about, if you will, content, structure of a website, anything, just let me know, and I'll gladly go through it for you and answer any questions you have. If I don't know it, obviously, I will tell you, hey, I don't know it, but uh, I do my best to help everybody out. So... I'm going to go ahead and audit AGMB. This GMB right here is for, let's go through this real quick. So this is just a typical GMB audit. We're going to look at this and basically tell you what we like about it, what we don't like about it, etc and go from there sorry if the banging is just a little bit too much but we've got to get our building outside completely done and they're doing a lot of welding and stuff like that so nevertheless here we go so if i look at your gmb leor in regards to your posts your posts the way i do posts are a little bit different um, I always want to put your name, address, phone number on there, uh, your NAP information, etc., which is going to be like that. The main keyword you're going for, the area, if it's national, is totally different, but your main keyword, your content, your name, address, phone number, which, and your website link, and then your C previous post link. That you would get from here or here. So we, we, we want to get all of these optimized, okay? Then if I go to info and I take a look at your info, let's see if it's completely filled out. Um, one thing I don't like that a lot of people do is they'll put all these service areas, okay? 
Um, if you're mainly located in Las Vegas, I would not want all of these in here. So I'd want those removed. Um, let's go down here. You got your hours. You got your short name. Um, have your website. You have your appointment link. Um, as far as products and services, you only have two. Um, I preferably would want every single product you ever have on your website. So if I look at your website, right, and I go here and I actually look at your website, I want every single thing that you offer as far as selling, your financing, all your resources, everything possible put on here, okay? I want everything possible put on here as far as products. I want all your services. If you have them on here as services, they should be in here as products. So we need to do that. Um, as far as health and safety, I mean, you could put this here, but personally, I don't care for that stuff. Um, are you adding photos on a monthly basis? We're going to need photos to be added. As far as questions and answers, now if I go to Google search and I type in your information and you know, your GMB was to pull up. Um, it's not pulling up, but let's go back here and go view on search. So as far as your Q&As, we want 10 of these a month at minimum. So we need to get that happening. As far as reviews, we need to be responding to these reviews and then clicking like, not just generic responses that say thank you um, by the person's name. We want an actual well thought out review. And we do this by using Conversion AI. And I will show you how we do this. We just go to Conversion AI. We log in. We're going to type in the name, for example. Instead of just saying, thank you, Flora. It's a pleasure working with you. We're going to give a well thought out review response. There's a template called Review Responder. In which we're going to say, okay, the name of your product is your business name, right? And the name of the reviewer is Flora Lika. All right, five star rating, and then here's the review. And then we drop that in here, and then we're going to generate a review using Conversion AI. Okay, the Conversion AI goes, Hi, Flora, thanks for taking the time to review. I really appreciate your highlighting how Lore was always available and quick to get us into new listings. We're happy you were able to beat out other buyers and find your dream home. So it's a very well thought out review and response, and that's what we want on our review responses. That would be the last part of this GMB optimization. Um, the other thing I'd want to look at is, do you have the right categories? But yes, you do. You're not like most people. Most people put in 20 damn categories and then wonder why they cannot rank. Okay, that as far as the GMB optimization, I will send this over to you here shortly. All right, and now we'll go over to another audit that I've been requested to give. or want some advice regarding a hotel client, the, and they wanted to hire a VA to do some of this. So they have over 50 hotels, and what's the best way to optimize them, how to get them ranking in the hotels map. Well, first off, it's going to be kind of difficult, mainly because hotels are going to want to these things like real estate. It's very difficult because you have thousands and thousands and thousands of them. If you look here, you'll see already we got thousands of them. All right, we got hundreds at minimum in that area. All right, so if it was me, Besides doing the GMB optimization, besides doing the on-page and local optimization that we discuss all the time on your website, then I would also then do your location pages, okay, your neighborhoods. Optimize it completely just like we talk about in the class with the location page stack. If you don't know what a location page stack is, you can go to my YouTube channel and we go over it thoroughly. If you're in my Google My Business um, course, we go over that thoroughly. But then also, if you go under SEO services, we have location pages here. And we talk about exactly what's on the location page. If you want to see one in action, you go to the advanced location page, geocentric pages, and you can see our advanced location pages. Our advanced location pages, we have an example right here. You can take a look at it there. 
and get an example of what I would wind up doing. When it comes to GMB optimization, you're going to have to do everything. So personally, I would do the complete SEO pack, which is $800 a month, which comes with the press releases, comes with the YouTube, comes with on page, GMB optimization, backlinks, everything under the sun you could possibly think about. GMB optimization, GMB posts, backlinks to GMB, embeds, everything, right? So let's look at one of your GMBs just so we can go over that with you and see what you are doing versus what you are not doing. Okay, if we look at your reviews, are you responding to your reviews? No, you're not. You need to have these responded to. You got tons of reviews, but no one's responding to them. Another thing that's really good for reviews is actually having them add pictures like this. Adding pictures from on location is great for SEO because you got to think when they actually upload it from their device from on location that's sending additional GMB signals okay then we want to make sure all of our information is completely filled out every last bit of this okay then on top of it are you uploading photos are you answering questions and answers are you uh, adding additional questions and answers for example if I was to take this one right here and let's go into actual Google not just maps and look for and see if you got Q and A's coming in here right uh, you have two Q and A's you need at least 10 a month and then I would add those on to your website as well okay that's just part of it so you need to get your entire GMB optimized get all of this information on the website for example let's look at this specific website okay the website looks great has a sticky header I like all that stuff it's your typical website you know um, but you don't have from what I see this is not a GMB embed on your home page you very likely um, this is built without GMB in mind so I would add the typical local SEO signals we send in here your reviews your review via plugin text, your GMB map, your GMB map insertations, and all your structure um, as far as your location pages, neighborhoods and areas you serve, everything, things about that area, all that, which we go over in Google My Business Masterclass and Masterclass Reloaded. And then after doing that, then I get into the advanced schema. Then I start doing the other stuff. So to me, it's better to do it uh, with your $800 a month package for local SEO. Uh, hopefully that answered your question, Didra. If you have any further questions, let me know and I'll gladly help you. All right, we want to, all right. It wants to be an audit everything on this one. This is for Gemma, 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 Gemma. All right. So we got some more GMBs. Pretty sure we already went through a lot of this, uh, but we're going to do this one. This is a new website. This is for all aspects landscaping, okay? We're going to go ahead and do an audit of the website, then we'll get into GMB. As always, I want a sticky header, which you have. A sticky header is what follows you up here. But you're lacking a big, bright button that will actually follow you, okay? If it follows you, and it's a big button, then people will click on it, like book your landscaping um, estimation today or book a landscaping estimation, something, okay? Let's look and see where your H1s are at. If we look at your H1s, you have all aspects Melbourne, great. We always wanna see your main keyword, which is landscaping, Bayside, and Melbourne, okay? We want to look at everything, see how much content you have. You got your reviews embedded, which is awesome. I would also add text-based reviews. Um, you have this here, but I would actually want a slider, like on the example of the sod site we're doing, in which you have the text review, and then it's linked to the actual reviewer, which is another GMB property being drawn in or GMB signal being drawn into your local website. Uh, I would want, of course, your GMB map here, but I would also do a keyword insertion. 
if you don't know what a keyword insertion is, I will show you keyword insertion. Let's say we wanted to embed this map. We grab the map link here. We already grabbed it. And instead of just embedding that on the web page like most people do, let's say the main keyword is landscaping Melbourne. I want to insert that into the map. Okay, and how am I going to do that? Well, you see right here where it says percent 20, and after Melbourne right here, we're going to add another percent 20, and then we're going to put in our main keywords, but we're going to go percent 20, pull it up, and that's it. So now it will say landscaping Melbourne, and, and or whatever keyword, landscaper, landscaper near me, whatever you want to add there, now it will have that as well. Okay, but it's awesome that you do have at least the embed here. We have the keywords um, that we would insert. Now let's see how much content we have on this website. We have 1,400 words of content. Great job. Uh, most people do not do that. The one thing I do see lacking is you don't have all the services in your menu, but you do have a gallery, you do have a blog, you do have contact, but you don't have any of the services listed in the menu. You have them listed as a gallery, which I don't understand that quite much, why we would do that. Um, it's just, I, to me, it makes no sense. So I don't understand that aspect. Why would you want to put it as gallery? Me, as a first time ever seeing this site, I'd be like, well, where are the you know, what the fuck are their services? I don't know what their services are, right? Without actually digging and looking, I wouldn't even know, right? Now, if I choose all your content, let's see how much content you have. You Once again, I have 842 words. I would try to strive for around 1,500. That's just what I try to do. I try to get about 30 to 40,000 words of content on a website. When I do that, I can almost instantaneously rank within about a month. Um, it doesn't take me that much effort. Now, if we look at your blogs, I want to see about how many words of content you got. Do you have YouTube videos on here? What all do you have? Well, your blogs are lacking. You don't have that much content on them. So in your blogs, what do we got? We got about a thousand words, which still isn't too bad, but it's not the best. I would then want to take this and put it into the Wave Video Maker, make a video of it. Upload it on YouTube, use my YouTube stack to optimize a YouTube channel based for that keyword, based for that location. And then once I do that, I would then embed that video onto this blog page and then use that same blog as a press release using Signal Genesis and then embed the video as well into the press release, tying in YouTube, that Google Signal and then tying in GNB signals and getting it optimized and then watch your geo grids change from, if you will, where we were at when we first got started. And I posted about this. I know some of y'all have seen it. When we first started, it was five weeks ago we were there. Then we got here when we added the content. Then we did YouTube and we got here. And then finally we got here. Not much difference, you can't really tell, but between here you see a number four here and a lots of twos and threes right in this area. Then, then the next week we got a lot more ones popping in here. We have no fours. We are dominating the three pack. So that's why we want to do the YouTube channel on every page. I mean, I literally put it on every single page. I take every page, every service, and make a YouTube channel, but very specifically, at least your blogs. That is one aspect of what I would do with all aspects landscaping.net. Now, what we will do is we'll run an audit report on this as well, and we can go over that. Let me pull this up real quick, and I'll give this over to you. All right, while that's running, I'm going to try to pull as well your local Falcon GeoGrid, and it'll tell you where you're at with that as well.
All right, with Local Falcon, if you've never used it, you go here, you hit Run a Scan, and it's going to pull up this. And if you've never run a scan before, or to search for your location, obviously we don't have it. Um, let's pull your actual, this main GMB. I'm not really concerned with all the other GMBs, but I want the main GMB. Now, I can do it for all the other GMBs, but today I just want to pull your main GMB. So, all aspects landscaping Melbourne, and since you're obviously not there, we're going to hit add search, add the search, and then we're going to go to the home page right here, which is landscaping. I don't want to put in landscaping Bayside Melbourne. That's easy as shit to get ranked for. If you want to put in very geocentric, very hyper localized keywords, but I just want to put in landscaping, landscaping services, stuff like that, and see where you're at. So, for the most part, yes, I know this is in the ocean. Um, what you could do is pull this over this way and get some of this out of the ocean, but we don't want to miss this part up here, so we're going to leave this part in the ocean. Okay, now we're going to hit run scan. Then we just sit back and wait and relax and see what happens, see where you're at as far as rankings. And then I'm also going to go to your auditor and see if you got any major issues popping up. It is still running. There we go. 563 issues. It's still running. I'll wait till it completes. Uh, you got a bunch of errors, 30 errors need to be fixed, restricted resources, long chain redirects, mixed SSL or HTTPS or secure and non-secure content. Um, you got a bunch of empty alt tags. You got a bunch of do follow. You got a bunch of long and empty meta description, a bunch of this stuff. And I will send this over to you as well. And we're going to wait for your results and see where you're at. So this map, I could tell you right now, just based looking at it, give me a month with this, and I would already start changing this from red to green because you're already in the top 10 in some of the areas, right? Some of these areas, you're in the 20s and such, but we could definitely get this in the top, you know, three or so within hmm, three months or less. In one month, I could change this geo grid to starting having yellows and greens and more with just some of the ways I restructure and do a website. All right, I hopefully that answers your question. What I'm going to do um, is I'm going to send this scan report over to you as well so you could have that as well. Um, I appreciate it, Gemma. If you need any help, just let me know. I'm going to send this over to you as well, so you'll have that. And if you have any questions, you know where to reach me, and I appreciate you sending over this audit request. And if I could help you in any way, just let me know. That's what I live, eat, and breathe for, is helping people such as yourself, small business owners, avoid the SEOs that want to take advantage of them without actually helping them. Okay. Wanted me to do a map in, you know, audit for Colin. So here it is. It is for Colin. This is going to be Reflection Window Films Lincoln. Okay. Um, we're going to look at the GMB. So, for example, you don't have very many reviews. You need to get reviews. Good thing is you are responding to them. Make sure you always hit the like button on your reviews. That's sending more Google My Business signals, and that's what you always, always want to do. Um, you got your website link here. You got your phone number. Got your address filled out. Looks like you got quite a few products and you are optimizing them let's see yep you're definitely optimizing them that's outstanding that is great I would also start adding at least 10 question and answers on a monthly basis you have your description optimized which is great window film in the UK window films you got your keywords in there everything I see is outstanding the one thing I see lacking is a don't see too many. Let's see how many posts you got. You're not posting on a daily basis. We got to get that going, brother. At least five days a week. You got your main keyword in here. Uh, I don't see your name, address, phone number in here, which I'd always want to put. Yes, it is against Google's terms of services. I understand that. But as long as Google will let me slide up in that thing, I will go ahead and slide up in there and do it. 
sometimes I'll reject them. If they reject them, I delete them and take out the link. Then I always put the read our latest Google post like you're doing here. That is outstanding. I would want to be more consistent in my post, which it doesn't look like you are. Um, and I want to use unique images on each and every post. I would delete this one because you have it back to back here, back to back here. Um, you always want to use unique images, okay? Now let's go to the actual website and take a look at your website. And I will also be doing a audit on the website. And I will send you that audit report as well as soon as we can get your website to load. All right, here we go. So let's go over to your main home page and let's go over here uh, to do an actual audit for you while I'm doing the CRO audit. I will let this audit run. Okay. Now, website. You got a sticky header, but you don't have a button that pops out. I need a button right here that pops out that says, push me. Okay. Now, Window Films Lincoln. Let's see if that's an H1 header. I play it to Almighty God. It is. Yes, it is. Awesome. Great job there. H1, H2, H3. You got it stacked right, but you got multiple H1s. We don't want multiple H1s, right? We don't want H1s driving attention away from your main H1, which is Window Films Lincoln. We don't want these other ones down here, okay? Change that. Then we got your main H1 here. It's above the fold, which is great. You got a big yellow button here, which is great. Got your content here for your services, which is great. Got all your services. I don't, and you got a video, which is even more awesome. Let's look at your YouTube channel as well. And let's see if it is optimized. Looks like it's been optimized. You got the different things in here embedded. I hope you've been learning that from me because it works wonders. You only got one video. What I'd want to do, though, is I'd want one video on each and every one of my services as well as one video on every blog. So when I do a blog, I then take that into the Wave Video Maker, create a Wave Video, then embed that onto the blog, then embed that into a press release, and bam, magic happens, really. Then I use the Google Review Embed Tool here which is a WordPress plugin, great. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to then also embed the reviews as text reviews, hyperlinking them to the reviewer's profile. Like if you were to actually click on the reviewer's profiles, you could actually click on them, tie them to them and everything, okay? Then on top of that, the very bottom of the site, I have another little hack in which we create a, we create a PDF of the reviews and once again hyperlink those to the review profiles okay but good job on at least having this here we got your window film fitters uh we've already went over doing an embed do the keyword insertion on your embed as always um which it looks good what you got anyways because you already have the main keyword which is window films lincoln okay love the fact that you even have your embed on there for google map you got some facts down here. I'd want more facts, but let's go ahead and see how many words that you have in here on your word counter. You got 1,300. Great job on the home page. I like to keep it around 1,500. Let's go over to services and see where you're at with services. Okay, doesn't look to be as many key you know words. You only got 962. I want to keep it around 1,500 words. When I'm done with a website around, we're running around 30 to 40,000, you know, words or content on the site. All right. And then, of course, I want YouTube videos on every one of these pages, on every one of your blogs, etc. Now, let's look and see how many, if you will, errors you have. You only have 260, only two errors to fix, only three warnings and 255 info issues. It'd take me about an hour to two to fix all of that. And I would get that fixed, your broken images, your empty alt text, your, all this stuff, okay? Now, let's go ahead and I'm going to send this over to you and publish it for you. And I'll email this over to you once we're done with this live. Or we'll Google my business SEO kill SEO, all right? So let's close this. Let's go over and grab this. All right, let's go to your contact page and I'm going to pull your main GMB, which is, and we'll go over here and do this. 
you're in the UK. I hope you're enjoying it over there. Let me do another scan real quick. We're going to go to the dashboard, do a scan, and I will send this report over to you as well. Uh, anybody that sends me an audit today, just realize it takes about a week for me to get to your audits. I am very, very, very busy. Um, your main keyword is going to go window films, not Lincoln, but that's your main keyword is window films, right? So we're going to drop in your main keyword, which is window films. This is on a 13 by 13 grid. Once this is done ranking, we'll know about where you sit at and about how long it will take me. If I was to take on you as a client, how long would it take me to actually get you rankings, Colin? If I was to take this from scratch, add the content, do all the optimization and stuff, we're going to wait for your reviews or your results, not your reviews, and we'll be able to tell you about where you're at. Maybe you'll surprise me. Maybe you're in the top three. Wow. Awesome. So my goal for you in regards to this, since you're already dominating that area, really, you're in the top three pack, right? Except for wherever you're in the corner. So I would want to mainly come in, fix these errors that we already talked about, and we're going to be sending over to you. Do a couple of little tweaks on your post, and you should see like magic. This over here, your twos and th fours and threes will also turn into ones. But great, outstanding job. Um, like I already did in the review for you, you're doing the Google My Business Post good. You just need a couple of tweaks there, a couple of tweaks on your own page. And like magic, this should jump from twos, threes, and fours over in this area to ones. All right, let's go over to our next guy. So what's an audit for this one? This is all garage door and gates. All garage door and gates. Okay. So let's go ahead and audit this one. All right. Website needs a sticker header. So when I scroll, it should follow me. And I want that up here. Look at your services. Your main header, which is right here, only says all garage door and gates. And then that's not your main keyword, right? Your main keyword would be, let's say, garage door repair. Um, and I'm very used to dealing with a very spammy niche. You do not even have an H1 on your page. You need this to be an H1, which would be garage door repair plus your city or plus your location, okay? Um, that's one of the mistakes a lot of people make quick contact or like that. I want a bright green button up here that tells them to book a call or get a service, okay? About us, we got that, we got our services, got our promise, got your reviews embedded as text. I also want a Google embed using WordPress plugin, so I would definitely have that. Um, I would have a couple of more hacks we would definitely have as well as far as putting a Google My Business Review um, PDF in the bottom and then linking those to all the review profiles. We would do that. But overall, it looks like a pretty website. It's pretty much laid out really good. Um, let's look at your core vitals. I haven't done this on many today, but let's look at your core vitals and see where you're at. We want to get our core vitals up to speed. If they're not, we do that as well. Core vitals after this last Google My Business or Google algorithm updates affecting a lot of mobile rankings. And even a lot of GMB rankings are being affected by it. At least what I've seen when people are coming to me. Okay, so we got a 48 and 83. It's, you know, it's not passing. Uh, we want to get that fixed. And now if we go ahead and go, how many words of content do you have on your homepage? You only have 648. That's definitely not good enough for a spammy niche. Now let's go over to one of your other pages um, and let's see if you got any H1s on this. Once again, you have no H1s. You need to have H1s on it. If we go to the word counter, you only have 367 words. It's nowhere near enough, especially for a spammy niche. Maybe you'll surprise me when I run the audit, but I highly doubt it just from my experience, okay? 
Um, I could be wrong. I have been wrong in the past. Let's run this audit and see what type of issues we have. Okay. I don't see a GMB even embedded on the home on the on the um, contact page, which it needs to be, and I don't see it embedded on the home page. So that begs the question of, do you even have one? And I've yet to see a GMB. So I'm going to assume that you do not even have a GNB for this location um, garage door repair gate so need to know that so I can audit that because I do not see one okay this is the previous clients and we're gonna wait for this audit to keep getting done running and once it's done running I will save this and send it over to you if you guys have any questions whatsoever just make sure to drop them in here right yeah sometimes it doesn't take as many words of content but i highly doubt that's the reason why you jumped to number one in certain areas and as you can see from tent solutions you were not number one in most of those areas that i see okay so from what i'm actually seeing in that area you need some help in regards to your ranking for the tent you're actually not um, in the tent area uh, this is uh, we'll send that over to you as well but if you could send me your audit I will definitely do another audit on anything that you may or may not have okay so in regards to this report right here, you got 755 issues, three errors, not too bad, 67 warnings, 685 issues. Do we want to fix our 400 status code? We want to make sure it's mobile friendly. We want to make sure your broken links are fixed. You got 32 of those real easy, 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 easy fix on that. You got empty meta description, duplicate titles, all that stuff's easy as shit to fix. Then we got empty alt text, easy as shit to fix. That take me about two hours to fix all that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna send this over to you in details. That way you can either fix it yourself or you can hire someone like me to fix it if you would like, okay? I'm gonna send that over to you. Now let's go ahead and say, for instance, I'm gonna run another ranking report so I cannot, since I cannot run the Falcon report, I do have what's called rank tracker. I use that. It's from linkassistant.com, link-assistant.com. And what we'll do is we're going to run a ranking report for you based upon your main keyword, which is going to be garage door repair, garage door repair. Okay, we'll run this report here. And I'm going to stop this so I can go ahead and do what I need to do. Yes, no cancel right all these are real easy to get anything with your actual hyper localized keywords I could care less for I want to see what you're ranking for on the maps so I'm gonna add that to your preferences here your mobile and then I'm going to type in your main keyword which is going to be garage door repair garage door installation right reason I know this is I've worked in the garage door repair business before with clients so I'll we'll run this report see where you're ranking or not ranking at once that's done running I'll get it to you I don't use hyper localized terms because I don't want to use hyper localized terms because this will pull from that area and that latitude and longitude anyways the way I have it set up okay if you're going to try to rank for a keyword that no one and their mother is looking for, then you're going to easily rank for it. But if you try to rank for the common term that someone's looking for when I have a garage door that's broke, once again, you're not going to rank. You have 0% visibility. I would love to help you out with this. If you want my help, please let me know. I will get these reports over to you as soon as I'm done with this Google My Business Live and I will get that over to you. Now we're going to go back here to Divin. Divin wants to rank for photography. He is in the UK. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and go through this. Photography is a little bit difficult, mainly because most photographers are so concentrated on the beauty of their website, they don't care about the SEO. So I'd want this to be a sticker header. I want a button up here that says book now. I like the fact that you got call to actions throughout the website. Uh, I remember when we built this site way back when. So overall, I like the site. Of course, I'm a little bit biased, but I would want to change this to a sticky header. But I know that's the way we wanted it at the time. Now, that being said, we're going to look at your GMB, see how you're doing your GMB posts. And then we're also going to run a local Falcon report and see what we can do there as well. Okay, so let's go here. You have way too many categories picked here. In my opinion, I would stick with one like photographer, wedding photographer, whatever your main category is. All right, so let's go here. Let's go search. I want to search for your business. And I, your main category is wedding photographer. Wedding photographer. And I believe we actually worked on this at 1.4 for you, but maybe you're falling down again. So we're going to take a peek at this and see what we can do for you. I'm going to wait for the audit report to get done. It's going to tell me wait for results. I'm going to wait for results and everything. This is a client. We actually built his website and everything and he loved it he built it the way he personally wanted it at the time with not a sticky header once again most photographers don't want a sticky header mainly because they want their big beautiful images up top and also when you do that it's hard to get your core vitals up to speed it's hard to get a website fast mainly because of the fact that there's big beautiful pictures i could tell you based off of this geogrid already give me about a month and I could have you dominating this entire area because you're already in one, twos, and threes. You got fours and fives and et cetera. And okay, so I'm going to send this scan report over to you, Divin. Let me pull it, grab it. And then I'm going to grab this map image and then I'm going to send that over to you as well, Divin. So we get this. All right, let me grab this real quick. Save this as Divin. Put this on the desktop. All right, now if I look at your GMB, let's go to the actual Google search and look at it. And the reason why I do that is I can't see everything from maps. So on your search, let's look at your reviews. Uh, great responding to your reviews. This always makes sure you hit their thumbs up. Uh, you know, always want to do that. Always, always, always send as many signals as you can to your GMB. Okay, you got all your address, phone number, appointments. You got your business link, everything, website link. You got your photos or products. Let's take a look at your photos and products. Uh, you got them all in there. You got your words in there in your description, which is great. You got Q&As in here. Great. We always want these thumbs up as well. You need to be putting in at least 10 Q&As on a monthly basis. Okay, so you need to be doing that. Then let's go down here. You have your business description. Great. As far as your GMB posts, let's take a look at them. Yes, you got your awesome. Great. Only thing I would add in here is your name, address, phone number. If Google will allow you to put it in, I always slide it up on in there. Okay. And then put your see previous post link to your previous GMB in here as well. You are posting and looks like to be on a daily basis. Great job, Divin. Great job. Great job. Awesome. Keep up the great work. If you need any help, I would gladly help you, Divin. And I will get that you know, over to you as soon as we're done here. Okay. I uh, got... One more for Dimitri. Dimitri has a few that he wants me to look at. Okay. <laughs> he wants me to look at a couple of these GMB locations. So we're going to take a look at those. 
and we'll be done for the day and we'll do the rest of these tomorrow as you see i got tons of audits coming in that we always have to do he is a gutter it's basically leaf gutter or gutter um guard so we're going to go and do this real quick and then we'll get this over to you dimitri i do have a phone call with you coming up i know this upcoming week on the 10th i believe So let's look for it. Your main, you know, gutter cleaning service is going to be your main keyword uh, for your business. I'm almost 100% guarantee that. So let's take a look at everything and see where we're at. Gutter cleaning. Gutter cleaning is his main keyword. We'll do the website audit, but while I'm doing that, I'm going to have this report running. If it will allow me to, sometimes local Falcon won't, show it. won't even allow you to pull what you're wanting to, but we'll see. Okay, we'll go. There we go. It's going to play nice today. As we're running this report, I'm going to go ahead and do the other reports, the CRO or conversion rate optimization report, as well as your website audit. But I want to go ahead and get this started so I can show you how to dominate your area. I know you want to be in the top three across multiple, multiple, multiple cities, don't we all? So this is going to be running... So we're going to go here. I'm going to look at a couple of things. I want a sticky header, big bright button, just like you have. You also have areas we serve. Let's click on that because I want to see these. Do you have, nope, you don't have these set up the way I would. Overall, it's good, but I would also add in the things to do, places go, local neighborhoods, all the information I do in my neighborhood stack, okay? That's number one. Number two, let's look at this page and let's go ahead and see what your main headers are if you have H1s or not. You're a rain gutter cleaning expert, okay? Are you mainly going after, hey, I'm just a rain gutter cleaning expert or a gutter cleaning service, okay? I would say you want to mainly go after gutter cleaning. I do not like the fact that this sits here and, and changes or anything like that. That is a fucking waste because you're changing your H1 and it's sliding and it's not there, okay? I don't like that. I've, it's been shown time and time and again that they are not effective. These are very ineffective. I'd put one main header, gutter cleaning service, your city, whatever, if you're franchise, I personally would have a separate website for every single location. A separate GMB for every single location. Okay, and dominate that entire city. Let's look at everything. You have your sticker, sticky header. This follows you. I love it, love it, love it. Love it. Overall love, you know, the whole layout, but let's look at your actual word count on the home page. You're lacking. You only have 802 words. You don't have any reviews embedded on the home page. You don't have textual reviews embedded. Um, you do have this, but that's about it. It's a WordPress PNG that pops up. I wouldn't even have that. That's a waste of time with PNGs popping up. Why would you ever even want to do that? Okay. I would have a you know the PDF down here embedded as well for your Google reviews I'd have your Google map embedded uh, on your contact page etc all those different things I know you run multiple locations so it's a little bit different if we were to look at your service pages how many words of content do you have um, this one in specific is in Vancouver but let's just look at your word count. Your word count on that's not even 500 words counting the header and footer. I would want around 1,500 words on every service. I'd want a YouTube channel optimized for gutter cleaning. And I want the video posted on the blog and on the press release at minimum. And we do that with all of our SEO clients on a minimum basis, okay? If someone said, hey, I don't want to just do the minimum, I want a YouTube video for every single fucking page on your website. We'll do that as well, but it's an additional cost, okay? Now let's look at your blog and see how many words you have on your blogs. Most people do this. When they have a blog, it just says blog. I'd want it to say gutter cleaning service blog. 
gutter cleaning service information, gutter cleaning tips, gutter cleaning steps, something, right? Besides just blog. We're going to select all this information here, header, footer, everything. You only have 680 words. It's not even a blog. It's really a waste of time if it's not around at least 1,000 to 1,200 words in my opinion. Now, if I look at your GeoGrid, I can look at this and tell you this right here would probably take me about two months and I could have this entire thing green as cabbage, okay? So I would definitely want to take you on. That's just one specific location. And I know, for example, you sent over several locations and you have several GMBs. So this is this one right here. Let's take a look at this one. I'm going to send all of this over to you whenever we're done. So you can get this entire thing. And then we got the report. We're going to give you this as well once we're done running that report. Got a lot of information to give you. So this is going to be for your leaf or gutter one, right? I'm going to save that for you, send that over to you since we're done. Okay, that's the location in Vancouver. That's the Vancouver location. Now we're going to go for the secondary location. And we're going to run the same thing there, which is gutter cleaning. Gutter cleaning, okay? So you have Vancouver, and then we also have this location, which is Eugene, Oregon. Oregon, and it's not finding it. Um, doesn't mean it can't be found, but just means I'll have to do another ranking report. Um, let's see here, search it again. Let's see if we can find it this way. If not, I have another way of finding it. But on our call on the 10th we'll talk more about this because you have multiple locations several locations this is just the top two i'll get these over to you dimitri and i look forward to working with you and you have a great day all right guys um it's been great we've been on here for quite a bit we've been on here for almost an hour now unbelievable right now or when you're having fun time flies i'm going to get all these over to you the rest of you i will get to you on saturday or sunday wherever you're at be blessed keep dominating